Kiri, Kiri, my lords and ladies. My name is Kapuki, and we're joined today by the charming Lily. And before we go any further into the video, I must warn you, she has no idea what we're talking about. Put your helmet on. Why? You look better this way. Oh. Greetings, my lords and ladies. My name is Lily, and today we'll talk about the top 10 March of Empires beginner tips. That's right. Tip number 10 is always wear your helmet. That's not tip number 10. How do you know? He told me. You son of a b Our first beginner tip for today coming in at number 10 is make the most of your rookie pea shield. When starting your progression, the rookie pea shield provides you with 5 days of protection against enemy attacks. During those five days, you can focus on upgrading your castle and increasing your income. You will need all the resources you can get, so don't be a noob and don't lose your rookie pea shield by attacking other players just to see what will happen. That's actually pretty good advice. Perhaps you're smarter than you look. My lords and ladies, after your rookie shield expires, make sure that your pea shield is active at all times. Otherwise, when other players attack you, they will kill your units and steal valuable resources from your castle. Yeah, and you don't want to lose your resources. My precious. You're so weird. Thank you. Our next tip coming in at number nine is join an alliance as soon as possible. It doesn't matter how strong you are, you can never grow an empire by yourself. In March of Empires, having strong and loyal friends is crucial for your success. In addition to defending and helping each other, you must also contribute to the development of the Alliance technologies. They will give you powerful passive bonuses, which will be beneficial for all the members of your Alliance. <laughs> Too bad you can never join my Alliance. Why not? Because we don't play with noobs. Helmet. Our next tip coming in at number 8 is participate in time-limited events. You can see all ongoing and upcoming events in the events menu. Always try to plan your participation because a properly timed play session during an event can mean the difference between huge rewards and no rewards. Zich, nada. Our next tip coming in at number 7 is short and sweet. <laughs> Just like you. I'm not short. Okay, take it back because you're not very sweet either. So tip number seven, claim your free gifts from the shop menu every day. Just click on the shop menu, go to the passes section, scroll down a bit, and there you go. Yeah, easy, like stealing resources from her castle. What? What? I said easy like uh, starting a new castle. Hmm. Our next tip coming in at number 6 is always run your adventures when you have enough energy. Adventures can be found in the campaign menu. Some adventures cost more energy than others, but they will also give you bigger rewards. All you need to do is click start, auto assign the most suitable adventures, and voila! When you come a bit later, your rewards will be waiting for you. It is so simple that even Ficha can do it. Ficha! 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 What's wrong with him? Uh, it, it's a long story. Before the accident, he used to be one of our best developers. What accident? Don't worry about it. I'll tell you some other time. Just go ahead and share tip number five. All right. Tip number five is keep doing your researches. As you know, researches give you knowledge. And knowledge equals power. As soon as you reach castle level 4, you will unlock and build your academy. This is where the magic happens. Each research will significantly boost your progression with bonuses like resource production, construction speed, marching speed, training speed, and many other valuable perks. Indeed. And that's not all. The researches come in six different eras. In order to unlock the next era of researches, you need to keep upgrading your academy. 
each consecutive era will unlock more and more powerful researches and by the end of era six you'll become almost as smart as I am. <laughs> Did I say something funny? No, no, I just remembered the joke. What joke? Do you know what the smart man said to the smart woman? No, what? Of course you don't. I don't get it. Of course you don't. Whatever, moving on to tip number four. So tip number four is make sure to maintain your VAP active at all times and always use VAP point items as soon as you get them. March of Empires is one of the few games where you can benefit from a VAP status without spending any real money. Each time you use a VAP activation item, it will add up to your VAP active time. This way, your VAP status will remain active forever and provide you with a bunch of awesome bonuses like increased free completion time, increased resources income, daily gold gift, bonus energy for adventures, and so much more. And don't forget about the VIP levels. In March of Empires, you can acquire VIP point items from a large variety of sources. Each time you use those items, they will contribute to leveling up your VIP status. And with each level, your VIP bonuses will be increased. How about that? Noise. And speaking of leveling up, let's move on to tip number three. When starting out, in addition to your castle, you will also level up your mighty champion. Each time you gain a new level, you will be awarded with talent points. You can distribute those points in three different categories, warfare, income, and progress. There is a huge variety of bonuses you can gain from each category. It's up to you to decide what to max out first, depending on your playstyle and personal preferences. Despite this, every experienced MOE player will tell you that in the beginning, you should invest your talent points into the progress and income categories. This will speed up the progression of your castle and help you unlock all the early game content as fast as possible. I bet when you first started, you invested all your points into warfare. Typical! I'll give you guys the next tip while he is reflecting on his mistakes. Coming in at number 2. When you begin your progression, try to reach castle level 8 as early as possible. By doing so, you will unlock many rewarding features like the Path of Glory, the Daily Quests and the Traveling Hero. Each of those features comes with lots and lots of rewards, gifts, boosts, consumables, resources and you'll definitely need all of those if you want to become an emperor. You will not just need them, you will want them. But not as much as I want to give you the next and final tip. So, coming in at number one, make sure to complete as many daily quests as you can. The daily quests are a feature that you unlock at castle level seven. You can find them in your campaign menu and as you can see, there is a long list of quests to be completed and a long list of rewards to be earned. The daily quests are an extremely valuable source of various items and gold. In addition to the individual rewards for each completed quest, you will gain milestone rewards for completing a number of quests. Simply put, you gain rewards for gaining rewards. How cool is that? Yeah. That's actually pretty cool, but do you know what else is pretty cool? Of course I do. What? Our next video. Wait, how did you know what I was going to say? He told me. You son of a b And so my lords and ladies, those were our top 10 March of Empires beginner tips. We hope you enjoyed the video. And make sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of the many new videos we'll be making for you very soon. Until we meet again, stay healthy and march on for greatness. Those were our top 10 beginner tips, my lords and ladies. We hope you enjoyed the video. 
make sure to like, subscribe to our channel <laughs> so you don't. <laughs> like. And more <laughs>